I'm back. And I didn't. Damn it, I didn't press record. I ain't got my drinks ready. Right. Hold on. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. All right. You know what, y'all? Give me a quick second because I'm sitting here trying to get ready. I didn't press record. I ain't got my drinks ready. Hold on, right quick. Hold on. Uh, see, this is embarrassing. I didn't sit here and hit record. I ain't even got the tea ready, so I'm making it right now in front of y'all. Good afternoon. Go ahead and splash this cola. Now, y'all know I've been missing y'all like fucking crazy and shit. Hold on. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. What's up? What's, what's really hood? How y'all doing? Y'all ready to talk about some shit? Now, I'm going to be straight up 100 with y'all. I am not 100% prepared for this video. And that's because I have been trying to catch up with all my YouTube videos. <laughs> not a whole lot of it. Not a whole lot of it. I told y'all, like, she, like, they fucked my hair up. Cut off most of my shit. So, I mean, like, this is all I got. This is all I got. Oh, don't, don't shave it like that. Yes, no fucking force, okay? The real damn thing, <laughs> Hey y'all, if y'all if y'all missed the Periscope video uh, from before, I talked about being in the field. I would do a separate video just detailing everything that happened. Thank you for sharing this uh, on Twitter. I missed y'all too, for real, for real. Y'all have no idea, no idea. But I'm back. Okay. But because I've been trying to catch up with the YouTube videos, I did not have a chance to really get a whole lot of stuff to talk about. But I think I have enough. Oh, thank y'all for sharing this on Twitter. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, I think I have enough. I think I have enough for us to talk about. Let me go ahead and say this. I'm going to talk about some shit that's going to piss some of y'all off. Probably going to talk about some people that y'all, you know, um, are stands of. Your first time here. Well, I hope, I hope this ain't your last. I'm probably going to talk about, what's up, what's up? I'm going to talk about some shit, okay? I, I didn't put in the time. I'm going to talk about NeNe Leaks. If y'all are NeNe stand, y'all probably not going to like what I'm about to say. I forgot to post it in there. I'm going to talk about people changing their profile pics on Facebook temporarily. I'm going to talk about that. Y'all probably not going to like what I'm about to say because I know I have a lot of supporters that are from France. Hopefully, y'all understand. It is what it is. Oh, we about to get started. And I already got my tea and shit. I, I hope y'all got y'all drinks ready because, uh, shit, we about to do this. So, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> hey, it is what it is, y'all. It is what it is. Oh, yes. Let's do this. Okay, we can talk about anything. We Y'all ready? Okay, so first, I want to talk about Gabrielle Sinbe. Yeah, it's going to be a go. Now, I, w I just got caught up on Empire, and y'all, I was fucking floored. I'm like, oh, shit. Becky got a boo. I'm talking about she sitting here wrapping her leg around J-Pop and shit. I'm like, well, Becky better get it. That's right. Let's go ahead and let Becky, you know, get her, get her some dick on mm -hmm, some motherfucking TV and shit. I was fucking here for her. I was proud. And come to find... <laughs> she got laid. Yeah, she did. Come to find out, apparently, memes have been made about her. People have been fat shaming her. Yeah, you know what? And, I, and I'm glad she getting it. Okay, you know what? And to kind of go off on a quick tangent, I saw a video of Monique dancing fucking get that you know what i'm saying like i don't have an issue with big women you know like i said i think first and foremost everybody need love too now i will admit y'all real does have a, a weight limit and it's not really pounds per se but if i can't pick you up not really a whole lot that i can do with you but 300 pounds is okay okay uh, but i'm just saying i ain't uh, anyway i'm talking too much about me but what i'm saying is this i was happy to see it and to know don't don't be able <laughs> to, to know that she got fat shamed it was very insulting. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> At the weight limit, don't do that. Don't do that. What's up? What's up? <laughs> but what really upset me is, but you got Cookie getting fucked several times in this in the same fucking um episode. Legs to the moon. Everything. Ain't nobody saying shit about that. Why? Because Taraj, Cookie's character, is skinny. But we mad because, you know, Gabriel is a big bitch. Let her get hers on, you feel what I'm saying? And she, you know, and I, I found um, where she talked about it. 
Now, this is what she said to Entertainment Weekly, okay? I, a plus size, dark skin. I'm glad she said that, dark skin woman. Had a love scene on primetime television. I had the most fun ever filming this, even though I was nervous, but I felt sexy and beautiful and felt like I was doing a good job. <laughs> Well, I'm not going to talk too much about the episode, okay? I am very proud of the work that we did to make that scene great opening the episode. <clears throat> I keep hearing that people are hating on me. I am not sure how anyone can hate on love, but that's okay. You may have your memes, honestly. I am at work too busy to check Twitter anyway. Hashtag booked. Enjoy next week's show. Now, I know some people who's like, but you had enough time to, you know, go on do an interview, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. It hey, what the fuck it is. But she just let y'all know. She owned the home. <laughs> hey. Hey. Okay. And here's the thing. And she said it right. She is fucking booked. Okay. She is making her money. Alright. She is sitting here proving that she don't necessarily have to give in to, you know, what Hollywood wants her to do. You know, she is still a big woman. Now, I'm, I will say this. I don't like <laughs> More cushion for the push team, Gabby. I will say I don't like the fact they put a blonde wig on her ass and called her ass Becky. Okay. But I am happy. <laughs> but I'm happy that, you know, they're giving her this time to shine. They're giving her a love interest. And by the looks of it, it seems genuine. It seems pure. And I hope this isn't one of those where it's just he's fucking her to try to stay in good. I hope that's not it because I'm really going to hate it. The sleep on big girl. Yeah, y'all, y'all better tell it now. Y'all better tell it. But you know, I just want to talk about that. It's like people need to go ahead and get. And I'm gonna say this on some real shit. Somebody already said, yeah, that blonde, mm -mm, mm -mm, that blonde wig. But let's be honest, it's big bitches getting more dick than some of these motherfucking skinny bitches. I mean, can can we acknowledge that? Can can we acknowledge it? Okay. That's all I want to say. So, why people want to sit here and hate on her, the same motherfuckers that's fat shaming her, the same ones that's at home wishing that, you know, Delgado was dicking her ass down, wishing that motherfucking Jay Powell was dicking her down, but now Becky the one that's getting it. Let's call it for what the fuck it is. Sit here. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Y'all, yeah, shit, motherfuckers done try this shit. Okay. Bring it back in. Let's go ahead and talk about Miss Vivica Fox, okay? Now, I'm pretty sure enough people have talked about it. So, apparently, when she was on uh, Watch What Happens Live, yeah, oh boy, uh, pretty much is insinuating that 50 Cent is gay because he made a comment about Empire, you know, see how I'm bridging the gaps here, about how, um, <clears throat> you know, the reason their ratings are going down because of so much gay shit. And she kind of implied that, you know, well, he must possibly have an issue. So, okay, so now we got 50 Cent going in talking about stuff, you know, she had me tied up. And, you know, supposed to be, you know, eat her, eating his booty like his groceries and shit. And, you know, 50 Shades of Grey. And I'm just kind of like, hmm... You know, it did backfire, like, like, because I didn't know all was going on. No, I had just, like, opened up my social media one day and saw memes of, you know, Vivica. I'm just like, Vivica, eat ass. Who ass she eating? I'm like, Lord, Lord, Lord. Come on, Viv. Come on, Viv. You doing too much now. You doing too much. And watch, and my thing is this. Did she not get enough of 50 Cent literally dogging her ass in the media, restraining orders a whole motherfucking night? Like, did you not get enough? Talking about some he's a motherfucking, what did she say? A booty snatch or some shit? When he was on the cover with, um, uh, Le Cucaracha, uh, what's that boy name? Uh, uh, Soldier, yeah, him, that motherfucker. Like, and then even goes to do tweets saying that I wasn't trying to throw shade at him and all this other stuff. Just, <sighs> I don't know. I, I I really don't know with Viv, okay? And then, you know, <clears throat> and I think the reason that Viv... <laughs> How you come back from <laughs> You know what? Andy got to ask, and... Oh, Lord, I just got a text message. I'm going to read that shit later. Okay, <clears throat> Oh, they ran her to the after lot. See, this is uh, see now I feel so unprepared. I wish I would have seen it. You know what? I will say he, he, he. I don't know. And then we see Vivica on Empire, and I'm sitting here looking like, okay, boo boo. You need to leave the plastic surgery alone, okay? I mean, cause here's the thing. I remember Vivica Fox from, you know, 
<laughs> oh, damn it. Two can play that game and everything. <laughs> like, fucking stunning. Drop dead gorgeous. And that, and she just doing too much. She just doing too damn much, okay? All right. Because <clears throat> what, what she need to be doing, instead of worrying about 50 cents, she need to worry about a damn self, okay? On some real shit. I'm not here to... Okay, alright. <laughs> we haven't stopped talking about I just want her to get back to just doing her, okay? Being happy and shit. You know, and, and look at sex. I I'm even seeing pictures of somebody saying, you know, boob job going wrong. I'm just like, what the fuck over? I I can't. She has messed her face up, she really has. And uh, it's sad to say I stopped checking for Viv on the real but at the same exact time you know i'm gonna just say there's no tea no shade my, my i mean my wife is still angela bassett i mean she's still snatching wigs and um how old is how old is um angela angela from the looks of it they had no motherfucking plastic surgery and shit by the built by god yes yes i i, I love me so i love me so y'all i do i do okay but let's go ahead, because, you know, some people like to call her auntie, uh, Viv. I'm, I'm, I want to talk about, hold on now. Okay, we're like clockwork. I, I, I got you, James. I got you. But I want to talk about Auntie Patty, okay? Let, can, can we talk about Auntie Patty? Now, um, y'all going to leave Auntie Patty alone. Y'all not finna bother me. Y'all y'all going to leave Auntie Patty LaBelle, Lady Mama Lay, Miss On My Own, Somebody Loves You Baby, If Only You Knew, y'all gonna leave Auntie Patty alone, okay, alright, I'm tired of opening up a motherfucking social media and seeing these motherfucking pies and shit, y'all, y'all not finna do Auntie Patty like that, now, I can't eat her past because the shit ain't kosher. But that ain't the motherfucking point. Y'all not finna sit here and do that. She does need to pay that boy, though. He, he, that boy had my ass rolling. Okay. But but see, now, because people going in on Patty. Don't do not do that. Don't do that. Why Patty wrong? Oh, no, wait, wait, wait a minute. All I'm saying is because I'm trying to figure out, like, does Patty LaBelle and Aretha really have beef? Okay. This clip, and I want you guys to pick out the shade you see. I'm proud of my age. I'm older than Soul Train, older than Motown, I'm older than the Grammys. You're older than Aretha Franklin? I don't think so, baby. Because I don't know, again, y'all know I've been off the radar. You know, yeah, I know, people need to leave my pad alone. Exactly, they're going to leave, they're going to leave Patty, okay? You know what, James, you should actually go ahead and do a video you know, go ahead and, and do do the damn thing, and go ahead and give us a patty response. But y'all not y'all gonna leave Auntie Patty alone. And I'm gonna say this though, because <clears throat> I'm finna talk about this, and I'm finna move to another subject. But it's still talking about Miss Patty Labelle. <clears throat> oh, she yes, yes, yeah, she got them checks on that ass. Okay, y'all gonna say whatever the fuck y'all wanna say about her. But last that I checked, she sold more pies than Keisha Cole sold motherfucking uh, CDs. And yes, I motherfucking said it. Okay. Don't, don't, don't make me sit here and start going for some motherfucking people. Y'all finna leave Auntie Patty alone. Y'all not finna do that. Y'all not finna do that. Now, <clears throat> what I will say. <laughs> what shade? What shade? Here's the, ain't, no, ain't no shade. I'll just tell the truth. Okay. Y'all not finna come for Auntie Patty. We not finna do that. Not over here. Not over here. Okay. Okay, all right. I'll, I'll give you that, but again, it's Patty Patty. That's all I'm gonna say is Miss Patty. But I'm gonna say this though, and I'm gonna take this to another. Um, <laughs> anyway, but I'm gonna say this if I'm not mistaken, <clears throat> I think in like three days, uh, the pods were sold out, sold what like 2.3 mil or whatever. 
one thing that I, I don't know, hopefully y'all know this information, y'all can let me know. I'm hoping that um, the pies are hers. Like you guys know like with the George Foreman grill, <clears throat> how George Foreman did not make those grills. Somebody else made them. They just put made him as the face of it and put his name on it. I'm hoping that's not the case with Miss uh, Miss Patty LaBelle. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. But what I will say is this, okay? <laughs> but, and actually, I'm about to tie this to next week. <clears throat> black folk. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to my black folks, so, I mean, no, 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 I'm not dissing nobody else on the screen, but just give me a moment to talk to my people. Black folk. So, collectively, <clears throat> we, and I mean collectively, just all black people, even though I ain't buying no pies, but we all went out, went to Walmart, bought all those pies, supply and demand. This is what the fuck we did, right? 2.3 million, if not more. Pretty much, Patty broke the internet, right? So, if we can do this, <clears throat> why can we not, therefore, support more black-owned businesses? Why can we not, therefore, keep the money within our own community? Why can we not help out each other instead of tearing each other down? Yes, this black woman that sat here and put some pies out there may not be the best motherfucking pies. But we went out and we supported her. We supported her brand. <clears throat> why can we not do that with other people? You feel what I'm saying? Like, this is one thing. Like, we can sit and talk about Patty's Pies and laugh and everything else. Why can't we not support each other? We're so quick to sit here and dump our money into other communities, other cultures, most of which don't give a fuck about us. But we cannot support our own. Let us not do that. And then, since I'm on it, I'm going to just go off on another quick tangent and I'm going to move on to my next topic. And I'm going to say this. Black Friday. Yarell will not be sitting in no motherfucking lines. Now, I will be over with a friend's house for Thanksgiving, even though I'm not going to truly celebrate the holiday. I'm going to spend time with a fucking friend and his family. <clears throat> you feel what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. I don't celebrate the holiday for obvious fucking reasons. Personally, at the same exact time, I don't fucking do Black Friday. Because what's the original Black Friday? Nothing, you know, but slaves being auctioned off. You know, that was the original fucking Black Friday. So I'm challenging all of y'all. Oh, well, happy birthday in advance. But I'm challenging all y'all. Don't give in to that. Just think about Patty's Pies and the month, like the power, the economic power that all black people had during that time period. And how they sold that shit out. Think about that and think about Black Friday. Let's invest our money into something else, but let, let's not be standing out in the motherfucking cold. Let us not be sitting here getting ready to try to throw, you know, throw bowls and shit to get some motherfucking presents. Let us not do that, people. And that's all I'm going to say. Moving on. <clears throat> I only got a couple more topics, y'all. You know what? Let me go ahead and talk about Lanethia leaks right quick. So... <clears throat> I don't watch The View. I don't. But I did see that um, <clears throat> NeNe Leakes was uh, on The View. She was on The View, you guys. And um, apparently she felt that she was uh, being, they were being mean to her. You know, she felt like they were just downright mean and dirty and, you know, being mean girls and all this other stuff. No, I, I don't. I don't think I'm meant to get Nene together. I, I'm just finishing. We're just talking. That's all we're doing is just talking. <clears throat> because you know, now here's the. It's some funny shit. She wants to sit here and talk about this lavish house she has. Now I'm gonna say this. We we ain't see not a lick of motherfucking furniture. Okay, we ain't see not a lick of motherfucking furniture in in the pictures that she showed. All right, we ain't see none of it. But I will say this before we even go there. Yes, she has a house, and I believe Chateau, Chateau Sheree has probably already been built. So, yes, she has one leg up on Sheree. So, we're going to leave Sheree where the fuck Sheree at. I haven't watched Real Housewives yet. I will be getting caught up on that later on today because, yeah, y'all forget those three videos, the two that I missed and the one for today. But what I will say is this. You want to sit here and show pictures? You want to sit here and stunt? And then you get mad because they ask you where the furniture at, and then she's trying to hurry up and stumble over her words and whatnot. We're talking about security. What the fuck security got to do with your, with you not having no motherfucking furniture in your motherfucking house? So you can sit here and spend all this money and then for what? I about to say, hell, y'all, people, you know, all the motherfucking Nene stand one sitting here and clown motherfucking Claudia Jordan would not, not have no motherfucking furniture. Exactly. 
she ain't tried. She told the motherfucking truth because again, everybody wants all the motherfucking Nene stands want to sit here and clown the fuck out of Claudia for not having no motherfucking furniture. But she has this house that she paid for way back when, and you still ain't got no motherfucking furniture. Yeah, you want to show off pictures. Now I got people trying to say the whole Chris Breezy thing, but Chris Breezy was doing too motherfucking much showing too motherfucking much. Okay, so we not finna compare apples to oranges. And you know, Nene wrote uh, tweeted and deleted. Uh, just sat with a bunch of mean girls, turned up their noses, looking up and down as if you don't belong. The hate was so real and sad. I'm about tired of Nene, okay? And apparently she's going to make a guest appearance on, uh... You know what? It, well, she should have got the shit out of motherfucking Renna Center, nah? On, on some real shit, like, you can't go on TV. Like, if you're going to stunt, stunt the whole motherfucking way. She could at least say, oh, well, these were pictures that we took when we initially bought the house. We haven't taken any pictures since we went ahead and fully furnished. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're going to... I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm not going to fucking do it. And I'm, I'm going to sit here and say this. Uh, how many of y'all was there for her struggle vocals? Just ask him. Because I wasn't. Yeah, ain't nobody checking for her. I, and, and then she starred in Chicago. I'm, I still want to know how many of y'all were there for her struggle vocals. I, I'm really just asking. <laughs> okay, all right. Let me go ahead and move on. Because y'all y'all know, <laughs> y'all know I got no motherfucking chill at the fuck all. <laughs> All right, so the Braxtons. Let me, let me go ahead and get the Braxtons out the way. So apparently, all is fair and love and war with this motherfucking family. And uh, a lot of shit is going on. <laughs> oh, shit, I... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Y'all need to stop. Okay, okay. <laughs> And here's the y'all say I'm bad. Y'all say I'm bad. Y'all know y'all just as bad, if not worse, than me, okay? So, <clears throat> there's trouble going on with uh, the Braxton family. So, they actually have no value. So, um, <clears throat> apparently, Tamar Braxton is off of Dancing with the Stars. Billy going all day, Lord help me. Is off of Dancing with the Stars. And... You know, um, initially, we all know that Tawana wanted to be on Dancing with the Stars, and they were upset because Tamar is on there. And it's not the fact that she was on it, but the fact that she didn't tell anybody, and the family found out at the same exact time that everybody else found out that she was going to be on Dancing with the Stars. Which I feel is kind of fucked up, you feel what I'm saying? And... <clears throat> I don't know. It's one of the ways, like, you know, I be trying to root for Tamar. I really do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really, really try. And it's hard. It, it is hard. Yeah, ab absolutely no no values. None. None the fuck at all. But it gets so much better. So, Tamar cannot do the real. Apparently, she has blocked all of her sisters from, um... They've been doing who dirty you need to let me know uh, who, who they doing dirty. But apparently she has blocked all her sisters from filling her spot on the uh, reel until she come back. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't agree that they do Tamar bad. I'm a fan of her voice too. She has a fucking fantastic voice. You know, I've, like I said, I have been a supporter even since Tamar, her first fucking album. You know, because she likes to downplay the shit. Okay, here's the thing. Okay, Tawana, okay, she, 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 okay, she shaded behind the scenes. I got that. Tamar ain't squeaking clean either. Tamar is not squeaking clean either. And again, she does a lot of shit. And like I said, I mean, I'm not fucking surprised about what I'm hearing. Now, again, some of this is alleged because it has not been truly verified by the family, but apparently inside sources are saying this information not to mention that um you know tamar apparently was rubbing the um success of uh love and war in um tony's face during the time that she was uh contemplating you know um not singing anymore 
fucking Tamar. Fucking Tamar. And my whole thing is this, you know, and if she was rubbed in a success, all I'm going to say is this. The heifer was dumb as fuck for sitting here releasing her fucking album on the same motherfucking day. Yeah, Tony should do it. As motherfucking Janet Jackson. Miss Jackson, if you nasty. That was dumb as fuck. That's the, it's certain shit you don't do. And dropping an album on the same day that Janet dropped her album, fucking dumb as hell. But you know what? That's her motherfucking fault because what did she do? She dropped what? Let me know. And then we had to wait how many months before she dropped fucking Angels and Demons. And now we get the motherfucking album. I blame that shit on her. She could have been dropped the motherfucking shit. Could have been dropped the shit. Granted, there was a few songs on the album that she could have motherfucking kept and shit. Okay, okay, I, I get it, but still, you know what I'm saying, Tame Tame might be on that shit, though. <clears throat> okay, y'all already know. But all I'm going to say is this, though, you know, with the family, even though Tracy didn't sell a whole lot, Tracy had limited fucking publicity, but her album did pretty nicely. Whoa, 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 now, nah, hold on now, wait, 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 I did like Love Him, okay, hold on, we, we, we can't compare those two albums to each other, <clears throat> okay, because on some real shit, if I could be honest with y'all, I enjoy Tracy's Crash and Burn better than both of Tamar's album put together, and I'm gonna wait and I'm gonna sip on my Long Island, because I know y'all finna say some shit. Better yet, I'm, I'm gonna pull myself another one, I'm waiting. Oh, yeah. We ain't got nothing to say. <clears throat> Cause here's the thing. Tamar tries too hard. Tamar does not know what she wants to do. You feel what I'm saying? And Love and War was a good album. Calling All Lovers vocally and even structure wise is a good album. You know what I'm saying? But it's one of those where <clears throat> you know what? Here's the thing. Maybe she should. But let's not downplay the fact that Tracy's album was solid <clears throat> across the fucking board. That's all I'm saying. You know, it's one of those, and I'm still trying to figure out where the fuck Trina album at. But that's not here nor there. That's not here nor there. So let me go ahead and uh, get off the braxes right quick. And I need to hurry up because it, my boss is texting me and shit, you know. So hold on, let me go ahead and finish this shit right quick. So I got two more things. Monique and her marriage. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> we all, I don't know if you guys have seen, she did a Periscope video. Uh, she talked about her marriage and whatnot. Exactly. It, it was good. I know it was, but she talks about her uh, marriage and whatnot. And I'm going to share a little... Um, Don't, 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 don't come for Miss Trina Braxton. I don't really care. But, you know, she kind of shared in her uh, Periscope video, you know, that the whole open marriage type thing, you know, it wasn't Sid's idea. It was hers when back when she was still, you know, ultra super Hollywood, this, that, and the third, you know, and you, <clears throat> they don't cheat. They don't do all the other stuff. They don't give cheat passes because when you cheat, you got to lie, you got to steal, all this other stuff. And that is not what they do. And, you know, she even challenged everybody, you know, do what works for you. <clears throat> and I've, I've even said that, you know, what works for <clears throat> Monique and Sydney may not work for you in your marriage. May not work for you in your fucking relationship. <clears throat> and it's like, again, yeah, we have these societal norms, but while we're trying to sit here and force societal norms on other people, many of us are not even living by those fucking societal norms. Okay, because for everybody who wants to have these motherfucking opinions about her uh, relationship, my question is this, how many of them did not shack up? How many of them were not having sex before fucking marriage? It's one thing where it's like, y'all want to sit here and throw this shit at Monique, go the fuck back and analyze what the fuck type of situation your ass is living in. And, I mean, there I fucking said, you can sit here and say whatever the fuck you want to say about Monique and Sydney, but uh, last that I checked, you know, she ain't getting divorced like motherfucking uh, Halle Berry's is. I'm just saying, they've been together 10 years and she was able to make that shit work. But that's because she's doing what works for her. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm trying to figure out why the fuck this shit is news. Because it's not, again, if they have an open fucking relationship, it is what it is. If she sit here and tell him you can have sex with one random bitch once a month or once a year, it is what it is. 
but it's their life, it's their marriage, it's their relationship, but they are still to, I believe they've been together, what, 10 years, but they are still fucking together. If you understand what I'm saying, they are still together. How many marriage relationships are dead? Not even three years into it. <laughs> My house don't get passed over the fridge. <laughs> But what I'm saying, and somebody just put it on there, different shows for different folks. What I'm getting at is, let Monique do what Monique does. Y'all feel what I'm saying? Let people do what they want to do in their relationships. Okay, if a man decides that he wants to sleep with another man, let him fucking do that because that has nothing to do with you. If a woman decides she wants to sleep with another woman, that has nothing to do with you. If a woman decides she wants to turn into a man and date another motherfucking man, it's what the fuck they want to do because it has nothing to do with you. Because while we so busy worrying about other people's relationships and everything else, we lose sight of what the fuck is right in front of our fucking faces. And again, if it works for them, it works for them. You know what I'm saying? Why everybody wants to sit here and throw salt and pour sand in somebody else's fucking happiness. Come on now. Let us not do that. Let us not do that. You know what? Yeah. Yeah, the same thing applies to Toya and, and Memphis. If, my thing is this. If that's what they want to do, it's what they want to do. And Monique even said the best in her uh, periscope. Um, There have been other couples, more or less cute celebs, that have open relationships. And they have given them a pass because you're you're both of y'all are beautiful. We understand. But because Monique is a bigger woman, it's not acceptable. You feel what I'm saying? When she even said the pass was for her, never for Sydney. So that's all that I really have to say about it. You know, and that's it. It's just, you know, if it works for them, it works for them. I'm not gonna lose sleep on what the fuck Monique and Sydney do. Because here's the thing, they got a relationship, my ass ain't in one, and that's just it, that's me spilling my own damn team, my ass been single for what, about, what, three, four years now? I can't talk about nobody shit, nobody. Now, I'm gonna get to some shit that's probably gonna cause some people to not wanna watch me on Periscope no more, that's probably... Okay, well, hi, quick brown, well, hi, brown beauty, quick, I didn't set that shit off, but whatever, I said it. Um, but I know I'm about to talk about this, and this is probably going to piss some people off. I'm probably going to lose Periscope off followers. I'm probably going to lose Twitter followers. Probably going to lose a lot of YouTube followers. But I can only be me. I can only talk about real shit because y'all come and y'all watch me both on Periscope and YouTube because I'm genuine. I'm 100, and that's how I keep it with y'all. I'm sharing my opinions, and I'm gonna talk about this. We can agree to disagree. Okay, so. First and foremost, and let's all be honest, how many of y'all changed y'all Facebook profiles in support of friends during the uh, attacks that happened on Friday the 13th? I just want to know, because I have it. I'm not even going to fucking lie to you. I'm not even going to front. I ain't, ain't going to front for the scope, okay? Is there a reason to not me? Okay. Then get, all right, here's what I'm going to say. Even though I don't need a disclaimer, here is my disclaimer. <clears throat> Before I say what I'm about to say, my heart goes out to anybody that loses that to any loss. You know what I'm saying? If you guys have seen my video where I talked about me being suicidal back when I was 10, losing people, it hurts. It hurts me to my core. Even when there's even a possibility that I may lose another family member. That shit hurts me. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> but, you know, it's just like, it, it's one of the where I, I can empathize and sympathize. I really can. And I think that all lives are valuable. You know, e even the most horrible person, all lives are valuable, in my opinion. So the fact that... um. <clears throat> So many people lost their lives in France. My heart goes, first and foremost, may God bless their souls and may their souls rest in peace, one. Two, to all their families, I hope that God sends a, you know, comforting spirit to them and help them, you know, um, move forward. You feel what I'm saying? But that's where this shit's about to stop. Because now here's where I'm about to go with this. First and foremost, <clears throat> fuck the media. I <laughs> fuck the media because the media will only sit here and show things they want to show and portray things in a certain way. You know, I'm a 
again, y'all know I do air traffic control, so I'm going to sit here and I'm going to circle this airplane before I bring the bitch in land. First and foremost, think about when Taylor Swift and um, uh, Nicki, Nicki Minaj got into it. You know, if you saw all the pictures they showed of Taylor Swift, she was nice, pleasant, innocent. But all the pictures they had of Nicki Minaj, she was just this angry black woman. You feel what I'm saying? The media does that. You know, a lot of shit happened on Friday the 13th. A lot of shit happened. Didn't shit just happen in fucking France. Shit happened in various parts of the fucking world. But we're only going to focus, again, media. We're only going to sit here and hone in on this one piece right here. We're going to forget all this other shit that happened. Not realizing that there have been many places in Africa, you know, people fucking, you know, dying, losing their lives. Here's the thing. I may not be living in Chicago right now. My heart <clears throat> is forever fucking Chicago. Okay. My heart is fucking Chicago. Up, down, left, right. Even if I never go back to Chicago again, that's where I was born, bred, and motherfucking raised. You feel what I'm saying? You got motherfuckers dying on the streets of Chicago, north side, south side, west side, all the motherfucking sides. People losing their motherfucking lives day in, day out. You not seeing no let's pray for Chicago. You not seeing people change their motherfucking Facebook things to the Chicago fucking state flag. You not fucking seeing that shit. It's people dying every motherfucking way. But exactly, Chi Town, stand the fuck up, but. We want to sit here and hone in on motherfucking France. You feel what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong, I think the French language is a beautiful fucking language. You know what I'm saying? I haven't said it. You know, I'm giving you a little bitch. You might pay your to my et to my type too. I think it's a beautiful fucking language. But let us not sit here and negate the shit that goes on fucking over there. You feel what I'm saying? My faith is Judaism, right? Let us not sit here and forget. Let us not be oblivious to the fact that in France, they have burned down synagogues. They have vandalized synagogues in the last 10 fucking years. Within the last fucking year, this shit has fucking been documented. <clears throat> that they have done this shit. That they can sit here and treat a religious group so fucking badly. Because of however the fuck they feel. But you only sit here and feel bad for France as a fucking whole. Right? You want me to sit here and feel bad, but I'm black. Okay, I'm a mix of different fucking shit. You know what I'm saying? Irish, you know, called, you know, Southern white, <clears throat> amongst other shit. But y'all see my skin color? My ass is fucking black. Okay, my origins deep down are from fucking Africa. But you know, you want we want to sit here and talk about niggas in Paris and shit. Well, they have uh, fucking black people in Paris, but what, why they have them there? They were a fucking attraction. They were in the motherfucking zoo. So if you went to France way back when, what did you see when you walk in there? You saw motherfucking black people on fucking display. Because this is how the fuck they treat motherfucking black people. But you want me as a black man to sit here and change my damn profile pic to the motherfucking flag of France. You done lost your motherfucking mind. Better yet, the motherfucking kings and queens of Africa, when many of them did not want to give in to the motherfucking slave train shit, most of their heads have been cut off and on display in a motherfucking museum in motherfucking France. But you want me, this motherfucker right here, to change my motherfucking profile pic. You done lost your motherfucking mind. There's at least about a good 13, 14 different, you know, places in Africa that are still paying taxes to motherfucking friends and motherfucking why. But y'all want me to sit here and change my motherfucking profile pick in solidarity i will not fucking do it now what i will say is again my heart goes out to those that lose lives okay my heart will always go out to anybody that loses a fucking life whether they're a good person or a fucking bad person because it's not for me to fucking judge but the fact that they want me to sit here and feel <clears throat> up in odds and you want me to sit here and change my damn profile pick no not fucking doing it now i changed my shit to say straight out of motherfucking chicago why because i'm fucking from chicago i motherfucking stand for chicago that's where the fuck i'm from i was sitting and i'll post black shit all day long african shit all motherfucking day long because it's what the fuck i do it's who the fuck i am let me be real clear about this shit but i'm not finna sit here and change my fucking profile pic to a fucking place that sits here and the religion that I am serving under, you want to sit here and vandalize those motherfucking buildings. The, my, my fucking people, you want to chop their heads off, put in a museum, you want to sit here and have them in motherfucking zoos like we are fucking animals, but that's the fucking betrayal. And then there's still places in fucking Africa paying taxes to y'all ass. Bitch, fuck you. That's how the fuck I feel. Now, I'm finna calm the fuck down ever so slightly system to y'all let me know how the fuck y'all feel. Shit. I try my best not to get this damn upset. I really do. Suddenly do y'all ever see me in my damn feelings. But this shit right here, no. 
No. Will not, cannot. I will not and I cannot. If there's anybody from friends that is offended, I am so sorry that you guys are offended. It is what the fuck it is. Check your history. Check your history. I know I got high blood pressure, but no, this shit has to be said. This shit has to be said. Okay? Because I understand what I do for a living. I understand everything, but I will stand for my damn people. And if y'all want to know why the fuck I didn't change my profile pic, that's why I didn't change my damn profile pic. Okay? And here's the thing. And before anybody want to sit here and try to come for a motherfucker, it is. That's, that's all the fuck that it was. I'm not against all the other... I'm not against all the places and the people that chose to do it. If you are a black person and you change your profile pic, I'm not mad at you. If you are if you are of Jewish descent or your religion is Judaism and you change your profile pic, I'm not mad at you. All I'm saying is, this motherfucker right here was not going to do it. I'm not going to jump on motherfucking trends and what's popping and what's hot. I've never been that motherfucking guy. You feel what I'm saying? I've never been one to sit here and try to fit in <clears throat> to social norms. I am not that guy. But what I will do is I will come here and I will tell y'all what it is. And I'm going to keep it 100. Because <clears throat> like I said, over here at Spilling All the Tea, me being tea spilling, y'all being the tea spillers, it is nothing but love over here. But I got to be honest about the shit. That's all it is. You feel what I'm saying? So I think I held y'all hostage long enough. I need to sit here and bring my damn blood pressure down. Go ahead and watch The Real Households of Atlanta. Get ready for the episode coming the later tonight. And if I can squeeze in some love and hip-hop, squeeze in some love and hip-hop. So, that... And you know what? That's the best thing to do, you know, is say a prayer. You know what I'm saying? Because, <clears throat> I mean, prayer, in my opinion, does wonders. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Pr Here's the thing. I can do more with prayer than I can ever do by changing my dang on Facebook. Book post, you know, picture. I can I can do so much with prayer. I can sit here and I can move mountains with prayer. God, I, I not every, here's the thing. People may say God don't listen to them, but I know when I pray, God listens to me. You feel what I'm saying? I know that. All right. So for, and like I said, I mean, for all those that lost lives, you know, I've prayed too. You know what I'm saying? It's like <clears throat> again, may you know God, you know, bless their souls. May their souls be at rest. And, you know, send, some, send a ministering spirit to those families. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, they only want to focus on what they want to focus on and their own version of it. You feel what I'm saying? And it is what it is, you know. But hopefully, uh, T Spillin', a.k.a. Y'all Real, does not get out pinned as being an angry black man for the rant I just went off on. But if I do, it is what it is. We not even finna sit here talk about all lives matter, cause if y'all think I'm finna talk about the refugees, I am not talking about the refugees on this video. I will not. I'm going to leave that where it is, okay? <laughs> Ready to laugh. So even though there's more that I could have talked about. I think that was enough. I think I gave y'all enough. I think this is a good welcome back video for me to give you guys. Like I said, for right now, I am back. Um, there is a chance that I could be gone next month. Fingers crossed, because I ain't trying to y'all know my birthday next month. Okay, I'm trying to, you know, travel during my damn birthday and whatnot. Okay, <laughs> y'all better stop with that moment, man. But there is a good chance that I could... Uh, end up leaving during the summer next time but again let's cross our fingers for that too because i i want to go to the blackout you feel what i'm saying like i said i'm on my journey back to me you guys uh i'll be turning 29 next month all right be turning 29 i'm trying to get this body right because i want to do a dirty 30 birthday party for myself <clears throat> like i said i have went from 275 i'm currently sitting at 247 you feel what I'm saying? Like, I lost 10 pounds the whole month I was away. So, I'm trying to get my body right. And knowing that the blackout is... <laughs> I'll be a young, you know, I don't love you. I'll be a little young. But, knowing that the blackout is in fucking July now, that's more incentive for me to go ahead and make sure all this shit is night, right, and tight and shit. 
<laughs> well, you know what? Well, thank you for the compliment. But I got to be looking good because if I'm going to be at the motherfucking Blackout in Las Vegas, you know what I'm saying? I got to go ahead and bring it down. If y'all have seen on my Facebook, I showed a picture of me back in 08. Uh, it was actually October 08, fresh out of basic training. Y'all saw all the motherfucking face muscles in my fucking face and shit. Like, I was motherfucking skin tea. So, I ain't trying to necessarily get back to that because I was like 183. I ain't trying to get that, you know, small. Probably about a good 190, 200 at max, but we'll fucking see. But, I will document this journey. It's going to be called BU365. Hopefully, you guys join me. All that good jazz, but that is all that I have. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in for Tabloids and Trending Topics with T. Again, I will do this again next week. Same time, same motherfucking place, you know? <laughs> I look like a baby. I get that a lot. I do. <laughs> it's funny when I get carded, though. It really is. But you guys have a fantastic, fantastic Sunday. Stay tuned because I'm uploading more videos. I just finished uh, Black Ink Crew and Empire. So next is Real Housewives of Atlanta. So I will see you guys on the next video. I love you all.